Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've come on today because I want to show you how I made this beautiful set of drawers. And it will go on my desk like this. How cute. And I've got these um, little handles on them. And you pull them out. And they're quite long. So you can stick embellishments in here. I've got a few of my embellishments. I've only made this today. So I've still got to add more into it. But how gorgeous is this? I absolutely love it. And I've got all my butterflies I love on it. And yeah, so that's going to go on my desk. And let's show you how to make this. Right, I've got a few more, but I need to cut them down to fit. I've got my little book. So I've already made three to make it quicker. I haven't put the handles on yet. But yeah, so I've got them. I've got my paper, and then oh, I need to get my scoreboard. So, okay, so I've got my scoreboard out. Okay, uh, I need to find, yeah, so then I've got my, I've got my tool. Okay, right, we will get, we will get there. Okay. So, you're going to need two pieces of A4 paper, so in the UK it's 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter, so just double check, yep, 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter, um, so you're going to need two. Um, we'll do the first one first because the other one's slightly different. Okay, so this one here, which is the eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters, you want to score that at oh, let me change my pen at one and two and one eighth, all the way around. Okay, one and two and one eighth. And one and two and one eighth, and then one more side. One and two and one eighth. Okay, so that's that one done. And then for the next one, you want you want this to be eleven and three quarters, but you want to cut it down to seven and a half. Okay, and then on. The 11 and 3 quarters side, you want to score at 1 fourth, um, 4 and 3 eighths, um, 5 and a half, 9 and 5 eighths, and 10 and 3 fourths. Okay, so I'll give them again. So you want one fourth, so one quarter, five and f four and three eighths, five and a half, nine and five eighths, and ten and three quarters. Okay, so three fourths. Okay, so we're gonna furnish. Oh, I'm gonna move my scoreboard for a minute. Oh, need my. Okay. I'll get my bone folder from here. So you're going to get your bone folder. And you're just going to neatly fold all these lines. Okay. And you want four of this one and four of the other. Unless you're making more boxes, then obviously you add however many you want. Okay. So then you're going to. I'm going to use this for a template, so I'm going to get, oh, I'm going to get one of my boxes out as a template. Um, you don't have to do this. Oh, I've left my glue upstairs. Um, okay, I use this one. Um, I haven't even cut it yet. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Just for now, I'm going to use my snail just because 
I honestly can't be bothered to open. I don't really want to open another glue. So, I'm going to use my snail. I always snail these ones. And what you want to do is you want to tuck that down. Oh, I need to put my jaw in. So you're going to I'm gonna do it like that because then you've got more grip. So that will go there. And then that is going to go on top of that. Okay. And then you will glue this bit down. But I haven't... Have I got a little bit of glue? Oh my god, I just realised I do need more glue. Um, fudge. Okay, let me see if there's a little bit in here. No. Okay, don't worry. I will open this just because I need to, sh to do it. So I'm just going to clip that off. No, I think I've done it now. And then what you want to do is just get this little bit here that was a quarter inch. Okay, it is open, so I don't know why it's not coming out. Okay, so I've got it working. Right. Okay. And then that bit will go here. And if there's a little bit extra, it doesn't matter because no one's going to see the back. And if it, if it does bug you, I just snip it off a little bit. happens when you're on camera. It didn't happen before. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that back away. So that's this bit done which is the sleeve. Um, and then I'm just gonna put that on my glue so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so then I'm gonna do this and you've got Four squares, got one, two, three, four. A lot of people should know this by now. But we're gonna cut that off, those two here, and then we're gonna cut that one, and then we're gonna keep that one. But I will show you anyway. So we cut them two off, and then you've got two here, so then you cut this one off. <laughs> and then you've got two, this one here, and you just want to, oh, minor the corners. Okay, so then it looks like that. And I'm going to do that one more on camera, and then I will do the rest. Off of It is a really lovely box and can hold so much. So, to be fair, I wanted to make two, so I thought I'd show you this one on camera. So, I'm going to go off quickly, do the last two, and I will be back. Okay, so I've done that. So, now we just need to again burnish all of these lines.
So you can make this box shorter if you want to. I've made it quite long because I wanted to fit embellishments in. We've got this, and then we're going to glue these for corners. You want to try and get these as flush as possible, otherwise they're not going to fit in the sleeves. Okay. There you go. Normally, this is my um, art glitter glue, but I love this glue as well. So the art glitter glue is open upstairs. So do the last one. Okay, burnish them too. Okay, and then I just fold these in to check that it all fits into my sleeve. It doesn't have to be perfect because they're not glued down yet. Okay, and then get it a little and then it fits perfectly so then you've got your box and your sleeve I before I glue these down I am going to put my handles on and I will show you the handles that I got okay so I'm back so these are Oh, do you know what? I brought down the packet and not the thing. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm out of now. So these are what I've been using. They're Tim Holtz Ideology Ring Fasteners. And they're just so cute. Look at them. And the bonuses are brads. So you don't need to do no, like, gluing or anything because they perfectly stick down. And you get nine. Obviously, I've used four for this box here. And I am going to be using them for this box. So, what I do is I get my ruler because I just want it to be perfect. And this is four inches. So, I'm just going to get a little pencil mark if I can find a pencil that's. Don't you hate that when you get a pencil and it's not sharpened? And I swear my daughter's been stealing all my pens. Oh, do not, what is with this? Okay, so I'm just going to put a little mark here with my tool. I'm just going to go under there. Make that straight. A little mark there. And then where I've added that mark, I can try and get that in the middle. So I'm going to put that up half an inch. And then it's half an inch. Or just a bit over half an inch that way, but that's fine. So now I know to put my bread there. I don't know where my pokey tool is, so I'm not going to look for it right now. So I'm just going to do what I did earlier and I just poke this through, which fits perfectly. Okay, like that. So then I take that now out and then. Let's decorate the sides. So let me just right, find the paper I'm going to use. So I used this paper pad last time. I used this butterfly, and I'm thinking I want to keep the theme because it's going in my bathroom. So which paper do I want to use? I think I might do this, 
No, because I've only got one of that because I've been making something which I will show you when it is done. Um, I don't know. Alright, I'm going to do this one. Okay. You will need two pieces the same for, the, for how many boxes you've got, okay? And you do get leftovers, which is good. Okay. Of course I will go. So I'm going to put that to the side. Bring my scoreboard back up. Move them. Move them so I don't lose them. Okay. Put them there a minute. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is cut this. Do you know what, I'm going to cut all the papers actually because I think that would be easier why cutting it. So the first piece you want is 7 and 5 eighths. Okay. By 4 and a half. And you want two of them so you can get that from 1 to by 12. Which is really good. So that's them. I'm just going to put them to the side and then you need a piece that is four and one eighth so that would do four and one eighth by four and a half so you might even need one <laughs> I don't know I think I went wrong on the last one. Oh no, you do need two for this bit. Okay, so then with this one, I need three and three fourths. Okay. And then you want to cut that down to seven eighths of an inch, and you want four of them. Okay. So let's make sure that's straight. That's one. So that's them four done. Let's move them so I don't get confused. Okay, move that. And then for the last one, you want one at four. And then that's a few scraps by seven and a half. Okay. So that's that. And then I'm going to get my little bits. Okay. We will need a scoreboard in a minute, so I'm going to keep it on me. I did go and get my glue. Which was... I love it because it's got the fine tip bit there. And it's just such a lovely glue as well. And it doesn't come out all funny and fast. And it dries so quickly. So I'm going to get my box where my hole is. I'm going to put that over my hole. Okay. And then what I do is I get my bread. Where should I put it? Yeah, so I get my bread again. And then what I, I just go in, where I put the hole, I just go in from the other end, from the inside to go through. If you've got um, pokey tool, then you can go through both. But I can't find mine at the minute, so I'm doing it this way. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to stick that in there. Push these down. Yeah, they, these are a really good price. I think they're four ninety nine. On Amazon. So then you push that in and then you've got your cute little handle. How adorable. When I bought them I thought they were going to be bigger than that but I think that's just such a cute little size. And then I just 
glue all these sides in. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then in a minute we will, I will show you how to assemble the box. Sonny's watching telly, so... I'm not even sure if you can see me. With all that, I hope that you've been able to see what I'm doing. I would cry. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that's set down. And then... And we've got our first little drawer. So, so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put that drawer in there so I don't get confused. And then we're going to do the next drawer. Just eye it up, but no mind I could ruin it. Okay, so get that in there. Okay, there we go. I'll do one more with you and then I'll do the other two off. Can we? And then just glue these. So I'm going to glue all these on, get my lids and my fronts and then I will be back to show you how to assemble everything. And I'm just going to turn my camera around. Okay. Okay. So I've done all my drawers. So I'm going to put them in. Did I forget that? No. I don't know why it's not sticking. <sighs> Give me. these in our pockets I'm just going to get two, so I'm not sure how many pieces I'm going to need. 
And then I'm going to take a look. Okay. So you need two, no, sorry, one piece that is five and five eighths by four and a half. God, that scared me. So that's one. Then you need two pieces that are seven and five eighths by five and five eighths. Okay. Let's get one more. Five and five eighths. Five, seven and five eighths. Okay. So that's that bit. And then you need one piece that is seven and five eighths. So then with this one, what you want to do is on the long side, the short side, which is five and five eighths, and get my scoring tool. And you want to score that at half and then half on the other side. Okay, and you want to do it to the two pieces that are the same. Say half and then half again. Okay, and then with this one, which was five and five eighths by four and a half, on the four and a half inch side, I don't I just yeah. No, on the five and five eighth side you wanna score at half and then you wanna score at half again. Okay, so I'm gonna burnish them. Where did I put my? Okay. Burnish these. Do is get your paper that you cut, and then the ones that we cut both the same, they are going to go on here, and then the shortest one is going to go on here. I think that's a bit long. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's way too long. Okay, let me just cut that down a bit. Okay, so it's four, what is it at a minute? It's four and a half, so you're going to cut about four and... Let me try that. And then I'll show you it once I've done it. I just don't want it to be too... Yeah, it's fine now. Okay. So then the one we got the smallest, you put in there. There you go, that was better. Okay. So I'm going to glue them down quick. Okay, so I'll stock them down and then you'll have this piece and the smallest pieces that you cut. And then you want to 
stick that onto that one. Okay, we're nearly done now. So that's a good thing. Okay. And then that will get stuck as carefully as possible. There we go. And then that's going to be for the top of the box like that. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to stick these to each other. Okay. You can use whatever you want for this. I'm just using glue. And I just get them like that. Make sure they're as straight as possible. Okay. And then just that. And then do the next one. Make sure they're the right way. To be fair, it doesn't really matter if you don't get them the right way. Because you can always turn your drawers away, around. But if you can get them as perfect as possible, that would be great. Okay. So I'm just going to do that again. Just because it gives me that perfect um, angle then. Okay. And move that over a bit. There we go. And I'm going to stick the last one onto this one. your boxes stuck together just give them a minute yeah, I'm just gonna give them a minute and then what you want to do is you want to get hold of the smallest one here and then that is gonna go on the back like that so first of all you do not want to stick this down because if you stick this down you will stick that to that so you only want to glue let me just move them you only want to glue these tabs here okay so i'm going to do one at a time just to make sure i get the right angle okay and then i am going to put it in view put that along there and i'm just going to Push that down as best as I can. There's a little bit that hangs over, but I'm not too bothered about that because it will go. Actually, that's going to annoy me, but I don't want to cut it. So once it's all stuck, you won't notice it anyway. So, okay, I'm just going to stick that down there. Okay, and then you stick that onto here. Right, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm gonna turn my box upside down because that gives it a more of a firmer um, bit to squish it down on. Okay, so that makes it a little bit easier for me. Okay, like that. And then that is stuck down so pretty and then what you want to do is you get your sides and then they are going to go on there okay and this one you do glue so you want to glue this bit here in the tab make sure it's the right way mine's not so I'm gonna glue the top bit first so then I'm just going to make sure that's straight. Pump down because remember I turned the box around. Lift that up. Oh god, don't pull that off. And I'm going to glue all these edges just to make it a bit more sturdier then. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue that there and then that 
we go along there and then that bit at the bottom okay and then that's your box so far how bloody adorable is that and then i'm just gonna do that again and i'm gonna glue this bit this time and i'm gonna glue all the sides okay and just to make sure they will stick i'm just I'm gonna get a little bit of glue on the edges up here. Don't have to be perfect, but as best you can, okay? And then that one there. That there. And then that. And then I'm just gonna make sure that they are perfect. Be straight. I'm just going to cut that little bit off this is what I mean. There we go, that will do. Right, there's a little bit of that coming up while I'm sticking. I'll just stick a little bit down. They are just so cute. Let's make. Let's put my box. Actually, I'm going to keep my box like that for a minute and then just get this. Put a bit. And stick it on the top. You can do the bottom. I'm not going to do the bottom right now. Give them a little couple of times. Oh, that one is not coming out. There we go. And then they will come out and just get a bit stuck. There we go. And then that is another one of our beautiful boxes. And now. We have two for my craft room to stick lots of crafty bits in. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like my tutorial today. Um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.